Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are both talking about creating jobs for Americans. In related news, Auto, a trucking company, cute, delivered 2,000 cases of Budweiser from Fort Collins to Colorado Springs. So why should you care, dear viewer, other than the fact that you're probably drunk? Well, in this 120-mile trip, the driver didn't have to pull over to pee or grab a snack. The driver had no bladder or thirst, for there was no driver. like the Trump campaign. <laughs> this is the end, my friends. As we r rage about jobs fleeing to China and Mexico, we avoid the real employment thief. Automation, robotics, android sex dolls. <laughs> and what will the candidates say to that? That R2-D2 is stealing our jobs? No, because R2-D2 can't drive and he's not even real. So life goes on as the lifeless assume our livelihoods. It's a shame not a single politician sees what's coming down the road. After all, when cars replaced horse-drawn carriages, did you hear the complaints by the buggy drivers? Of course not. You weren't even born. <laughs> Bonus monologue. Iris, this is, um, this is going to happen. And, yeah. we, and, the, and I don't hear any major politician addressing the fact that we're going to have a large class of men and women who won't be working. So we'll have an entire generation of unemployed people because they don't have the education mm -hmm. to move forward. And it's, of course, you're not talking about it because to talk about it, you're going to, have to say technology is bad. Right. And advancement is bad. And we're at the point now in our civilization where we're going to make the next leap. You talked about buggy whips and mm -hmm. the industrial revolution. Everything changed. Everybody went from working in farms and mm -hmm. markets to working indoors, steel factories and stuff. That's all going to go away because robots are going to do that. Or and you know why they're going to do that? Because they don't need health insurance. Right. That's true. They don't, so you're going to save money. They don't sue. Two, they don't ask for raises. Yes. That's right. You can sexually harass them all day, and they yes. won't do anything back. <laughs> but who would They don't retire. To. You don't have to pay for vacations. And two, you'll never have to worry about being promoted you or being reported. You did two already. You <laughs> did two. <laughs> um, um, three. That you didn't was do three. Scarface two, so don't Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. Walter, here's the point. Um, there are 30,000 people who die every year in car crashes. There's, I think, been one fatality with billions of miles of self-driving cars. Yet, we still think that's bad. But this is going to happen, right? I mean, there's no way around this. And then what, do you have a solution for this? Is it like a, a universal base income so that people who don't have jobs still have a salary? Well, you know, I don't know how people without jobs are going to be able to afford self-driving cars. But <laughs> That's my point. Yeah. But, you know, self-driving cars are, are for a very specific constituency, alcoholics. Um, the, the other thing that I, I fear is that the first time a self-driving car hits a puppy, yeah. the whole thing will disappear. Yeah, there'll uh, be picket I, signs. Yeah. There'll be people. In, it, it won't be a person. It has to be a furry thing. Yeah. Never run yeah. over a furry thing. Yeah. Mm. If it's a human dressed as a furry thing, that's mm. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Also, the good thing about the robots, too, is they have no, they don't have any feelings whatsoever. Right. For example, if you're at a restaurant and, you know, you, the, the, your ketchup is forgotten. Yes. It was forgotten by a human being with feelings. And you have to, when you react, even though you might be very upset, have to remember that that's a human being mm -hmm. with feelings feel and a family and, like, spit that they can put into your food. <laughs> Absolutely. So you can't or really worse. express your <laughs> feelings. I would love to just be screaming at robots that forget my ketchup. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Robots, uh, robots, you can, but then that takes all the fun out of it. In a weird way, yeah. Stephen, when you have robots and automation, there'll be a new organic human movement where people will go, oh, I'm going to a where there's only human servers. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll wait be, uh, three it, to four yeah, hours yeah. for a meal, and yeah, <laughs> and everybody will sneak back over to. They'll eat at the robot restaurant, it'll, and they'll hang out at the organic restaurant. So. Humans, organic yeah, humans. It's the freedom of choice. You'll right. have, you'll, we'll still have freedom of choice, and you can choose humans, and that makes you more human. Yes, than okay. human. But you know, I want my food prepared by robots. Yeah. Nobody's gonna spit in it. Yes, you know, <laughs> uh, robots don't have bodily fluids. 
Well, not, yes. Not, yes. Yes. Do you yes. have horrible yes. experiences at restaurants? <laughs> where everybody's right. always putting bodily fluids. But, no, yeah. I feel like we're just going back. How to do you know that you haven't? But, but just, okay, we're, talk, we're talking about a society. Because I know what that tastes like. I know. I, I'm okay. Gonna, I'm okay. Gonna control. We're, uh, we're talking about a society that's going to be uh, have tons of time for leisure. We have to now figure out ways to pay people to do like creative things, or pay them to do some kind of work that really isn't work, or else you're going to have more opioid addictions. Because in cities where there are no jobs, that's where the drug addiction is. I think we're going to end up in a situation where the, you're going to have like a human lottery of who gets to stay and who gets to go. But, you know, it's, I think oh, we'll sorry, get... there's no jobs, no place for you. We got to, it'll be like, you know, they'll have culling where they'll take out the people who are not doing what they're supposed to do. Culling? I think it was Logan's yeah. run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, has anybody seen Westworld? Yes. yes. Well, I saw the original movie with Ewell Brenner. Quite a great film directed by Michael Crichton. But Michael how, so Crichton. how do you... <laughs> he wrote it, too. He did write it. Thank yeah. you very much, young man. So how do we know that Cat's not a robot? Well, yeah. how do we know he has no feelings? I, I have feelings. <laughs> yes, and technically, it's your birthday. It is my birthday. Yeah, Thanks so for being so <laughs> Alright. Birthday or download day? Yeah, very yeah. good. Alright.